I'm gonna blow your freaking mind right now. We shopped the Trending Now page on ASOS and picked the top item from each of those most wanted categories. And then we're gonna take those six items and try them on a size two and a size 10. I'll take a new one, you take that one. Don't trick us. Hey guys, welcome to Clever Style. Hi! So if you watch our channel, we usually do a lot of first impressions, try on hauls, you know, trying things for the first time, things like that. But today is a little bit different. We are diving deeper. And we're going to give you reviews and our thoughts on clothes that we have been living in, styling, really truly going through life in for a few days. Way more than just a first impression. Well, this is different. Today the clothes are from ASOS. We know her, we love her, we're frequent shoppers. Mm -hmm. They actually have a tab called the Trending Now tab, and when you click on it, they'll give you a list of things that are really, really popular called the most wanted. In each category, we sorted by our favorites, meaning ASOS's favorites, right. and the first picture that popped up in each category is the clothing item we bought. So we shop at ASOS all the time. I love ASOS. The second I discovered it, it was like no other store existed. Mm -hmm. I constantly am looking at dresses for occasions. I love their t-shirts. Shirts. I love their tops. I'm really into their shoe selection. And typically when I shop there, I always look for a size 10. Because there are so many brands, you can size up, size down. It really just depends. And once you kind of navigate the site, yeah. you start to know which brands fit you the best. But overall, I would say a 10 fits me perfectly in the brands that they carry. I'm usually a size two on ASOS. Everything we're trying today, I am a size two as well, obviously. And sometimes it just is perfect. ASOS two is the Sinead two, and sometimes it's not. It do be like that sometimes, though. Our teeny tiny bralette, our knit bralette. So the way the model had it on, she was just wearing it. And I am not one to wear a bralette, to wear anything cropped. You know, I have to cover, you know, the goods. So I put it on and I had a really cute outfit I was gonna wear it with and then my boobs were just not in it. It yeah. uh, didn't fit whatsoever. So I yeah. was either getting like major under boob or if I pulled it down, it was just nipple. It looks like it would be stretchy, but when you have it on, it does not meld to your body like that. Like I said, I'm a size 10 and I'm a 38C bust and band. So if you are thinking about getting this, I would size it maybe twice mm -hmm. if you're interested mm -hmm. in this. It is cute, but I, you know, I wouldn't go back to it. Okay, so fun fact, this is my outfit today. Yes. And I planned on wearing that bralette underneath this jacket. Mm. So today I'm like, whatever, I'm going to the studio, I'll wear it under this. And Nils was like, where are you going? And I was like, work. And he's like, you can't wear that. And I was like, why? And he's like, your entire nipple is out of your shirt. Ooh. And I looked down and I was like, oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> look at that thing. The more I tried to adjust it and kind of fit it, I realized, wow, this just doesn't fit. And I knew I'd been uncomfortable in it and there was something wrong with it, but usually I can like sacrifice a little bit of discomfort for the fashion. Wow. And here is what I think the actual issue is. I think it is this yep. extra line of, it's thicker, it's um, a little bit sturdier, and this doesn't allow a lot of space for your boob. So if you're thinking about it, you think your boob has all of this area, it does not. No. It only has above this line. So it has this area because anything that falls below gives this very weird boob lump that is like- It's not even hot under boob. It's, no. a, it's a lump, exactly what Sinead said, a it, lump. It looks like something is cutting into your boob and separating it into two smaller boobs. <laughs> I get it, this color is so in right now. It yeah. is like, knit is apparently never going away. As much as I keep trying to tell everybody, let's just keep the knit to our blankets. It's not functional. It's not functional, and we both have the exact same complaints. And that's unfortunate because it's really cute, but I don't know how you would be that happy with this. This just in, we've re-looked at the photo, and upon further inspection, that girl had huge boobs, but yeah. in the photo, she's pulling it down. So you know the, the director was like, I know it doesn't fit, but you need to just pull it down. We gotta sell this photo. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, but that is deceitful, ASOS. Don't do that to us. Mm -hmm. We're loyal customers. She has the same issues that we did with this. You see it. Don't trick us. Why Why would they do this? We covered blanket clothing. Yes. Now we're gonna move on to <laughs> rug clothing. Oh, love it. <laughs> okay, so it was a two-piece set, obviously, and it had this little matching top yes, situation. Yes, cannot forget the matching top. Very summery overall, I think. Yeah. I was definitely like, oh, this is totally great for a beach cover-up, that kind of thing, for someone who likes crochet. I looked at these pants and I thought, Thought, oh yeah, these look like they might be a little bit big on me. Mm -hmm. But then again, I wasn't necessarily thinking they were gonna be as low rise as they were, and they are very, very low rise. But surprisingly enough, when I put them on, they actually didn't feel big at all. This is totally sheer, right? So I did put it on at first, and I was like, I can get away with this. And then I looked in the mirror, and I was like, I can't get away with this. You see right through it. I might have just sized up in both the top and the bottoms, because I just felt like my skin couldn't breathe in this. I had the same thought that you did when I put it on, beach. 
Cool. Luckily, I have a pool at my apartment, so I put it on with a one-piece bathing suit. I put the pants on, and they fit fine. I, like you, thought this was gonna be a little flimsy and a little big, yeah. but no, it was like a little tight in a good way, though. Yeah. It fit me perfectly, but I did wear it with a one-piece, and then I just, like, for fun, tried the top on with the one-piece, and I looked like a complete idiot. But I just wanted to get the idea of it. The good news about these is you can buy them separately, so the top is 48, and the bottoms are 56. The bottoms fit me perfectly. I wouldn't size up, wouldn't size down. The top, I would size up just for better coverage. This is horrifying. This literally looks like the things that are on the ends of curtains. Furniture clothes, I will never understand it, okay? I will never understand this. This looks like it belongs on my grandma's curtain. I don't know about that. Moving on to something I think Sinead and I both can universally say that we really liked mm -hmm. was this t-shirt, which was in the logo section. A graphic tee of Queen Whitney Houston. And on the back, it's really cute. It says, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who I think we can both agree. Graphic tees will always be in style. There will always be a new way to wear a graphic tee. So when I got a 10, it was really, really big, almost like a night shirt. Yes. So I would size down because I really do love this shirt. And when I was trying to tuck it in, it was just really bulky, which made like my jeans look bulky, which I didn't really love. Mm -hmm. So I would size down maybe like two or three sizes, but I love the shirt. I love the colors. It's really funny because in the Abercrombie episode that you, Aaron, and I did, both of you also got a Whitney shirt. So they're putting yeah. her on everything. Let's be clear. Bridget's actually holding the size two. The I size, would have loved this size. Yes, this is the size two. Personally, I like this, but this is also my style, so it makes sense. And I wore the skimpiest of shorts I own, <laughs> and they came to just the rim of that. And then I ended up just tucking it in to show that like, even with really short shorts, it still feels like, is she wearing pants under that? Then again, I absolutely love this t-shirt. I know, I love it. Like now that I have it, I'm like, okay, it's oversized, I'll figure it out. But if I were to order it again, we would both probably size down. I like the simplicity of this because because we've seen band tees get extremely obnoxious because we don't have the copyrights. We always end up having to put giant names so we make it very clear that we're not stealing someone's image, which I get, but that is why I like this so much because even with this giant Whitney on it, it's not like in your face. I love the colors. And I feel like stylistically, a lot of people are gonna like this and the material is really soft. Yeah. So I think we can all agree that I'm gonna take this one home and we're gonna order Sinead a new one. As long as you don't mind my grass stain from gardening in it all day. There you go. I'll I'll take a new one, you take that one. It's called Clorox, baby. For life's bleachable moments. The next category was shoulder bags. And mm. here we have more furniture clothing, except this time it's a furniture bag. And it's like a very 70s vibe, right? Yeah. I actually ended up, I'm sorry to bring back a bad memory, but I put it with this. <laughs> I mean, I showed it to the camera, waved at a couple neighbors, and then I took it the hell off because it's just so specifically a style that is not mine. I think the quality of this bag is good. It's just so on the nose. When things are this on the nose, like boho, bloggery, that yeah. vibe, like where is my dream catcher? I have similar feelings. I'm also not a bag gal. Mm -hmm. I tend to keep the same bags for years and years. It's just not something I want to spend my money on. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like the color. I don't like this sleeve of wefting. It is too bloggery for me as well. I said it's brown. It is brown. Yeah, but don't you think it's like a milky brown from the 70s, except not? It is. It's exactly that. It's a brown yeah. from the 70s that could stay. I ended up pairing this with the outfit that I couldn't wear the bralette with to like grab a Starbucks and like yeah. go to the grocery. And it fit everything I needed. You know, it's just not a piece I would gravitate towards. I did like the shoulder bag of it. I agree with you. It's a, it's a well-made bag. I'm not going to invest in it. I'm not going to keep wearing it. But if, in case you're wondering, size two, size 10 works great for you. Yeah. One size fits all. One style fits not us. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think it's for me. Here is the occasion wear this green dress on the model. I really, really liked it. It is not something I would pick out on my own, but I was happy to be able to try it. It is this green colored dress, as you can see, with the different patterns. It has like lines on it. Very frilly, very girly with a zip in the back. The length is perfect. It's not too short. The only thing I will say is you're gonna need to tape your gals. Wearing a bra is gonna be really hard because it's open in the back. But I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was cute. I don't think it's too over the top for a dress. I think you could wear it to a lot of occasions. I wore it with these brown Steve Madden studded heels that I have and it worked really, really well. So the size 10 of it all worked perfectly for me. This tie down here is like kind of confusing, but honestly, you could take it off. You, yeah, seriously. It doesn't add anything to the dress and it doesn't take away anything. So if you don't like it and it's too complicated, just simply take it off and wear it 
without. And there you go. The longest tie ever. It is so <laughs> long. But I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to wear it again. I literally I put this on. I was like, I'm going to hate this, right? You are right. You have to take your boobs no matter what. I don't think it is a sizing thing. I think it is a fit thing of the dress. Yes, the agree. dress is designed to be a plunging, very exposed, which I like. You will have to tape your boobs. Mm -hmm. The whole upper body area of the dress is a little bit big. And then it gets nice and cinched and whatever down below. But not just in the boob area, but it's this part. The way the dress sits right here too, like right on top, that also felt a little bit loose. There's more fabric like up above in mm. my arm area. I can see that, yeah. It's not my style at all. But when I put it on, I was like, damn it, this looks good. I'm not necessarily 100% sure if I was in the right size in this one. I would just suggest if you're out there and you like this, yeah. read some reviews. One thing that really bugged me was how freaking tight this was. It was really tight. Like mm -hmm. I felt like my wrists were in jail and I hated it. You need help getting those buttons. Yeah. Those are, that's not a one man job. No, this is like when you can't get it off and your life flashes before your eyes because you think like, oh my God, this is me now. This is how I live. I'm a monster! This color is one of my faves. And I think so nice. that again, we saw it in the bralette. Mm -hmm. It's such a good color. It's very fall, but it's not too heavy. It's an on gender color. Exactly. Anyone can wear it. And it's, it. Exactly. It's super androgynous to me. And I love that. So maybe, you know what, ASOS? Maybe you are like absolutely nailing what is trending right you now. You might convert Sinead. I mean, let's not get crazy here. <laughs> We're moving in the right direction. Here she is, Miss Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> I'm gonna blow your freaking mind right now, okay? Tell me. I love the way this looked on me. Whoa. I don't know why it suits me so well. Is it the color? Was it because my hair was like up in a bun? My son was next to me and we just looked like we had our shit together. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoa, one day I'll be a mom like that. Who'll be like, oh, babe. I'm gonna take Harrison to the Whole Foods market. Whereas now I'm like, Harrison, what do you want from the pizza place? <laughs> you know, like, but yeah, so I think it's ugly, <laughs> but I like the way it looked on me. Oh, I dilemma. almost wish it was any other print. This doily, the doily of, of the season can go. But I think again, ASOS is nailing the color trends. This is again, yeah. a different version of that time. It's more mm -hmm. of a mint color. I'm interested to see what this dress looks like under this lighting in the video and in your house and in my my house, but it's gonna have to look different. You know, it could be three different dresses. It's really good quality, actually. It's very soft. It gave me like length as a short person. I felt taller all of a sudden. It was very feminine without being overly feminine in terms of the fit. It's got like a high shoulder, but not a high neck. But that's why I feel like if it was black, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Or even just the a green color, any yeah, other color. A solid. That's the only thing, because at first I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna look like a freaking cupcake. I'm gonna hate it. And then I put it on and I was like, who's she? Babe, don't look at me. I'm having thoughts in my head that are confusing. I think this one fit great. It fit like a size 10 does normally on me. I had no complaints about the fit. I just had complaints about how I felt in it. You looked in the mirror and saw a gorgeous woman. I looked in the mirror and saw a school mom from your local community theater musical. Like it was just very unflattering on me. It made me look mature in the way that mature is like an old lady. I don't know, on the model it looks so beautiful. And I was like, oh, I love satin. I could definitely wear that. She looked great. I was like, maybe I could wear it to an upcoming wedding or an event that I have. App Absolutely not. I tried this on with every shoe I own in my closet and they all I couldn't even wear it with my favorite pair of shoes. This is definitely a no for me. It's definitely a no for me, dog. Out of everything, Sinead, yeah. I think we did pretty well with the trending. ASOS, I'm interested to see what else is trending as the page changes, but I'm sure other stores do the same thing. We should try. Heck yeah, I wanna do a different store for sure. So what did you guys think about the way we did this episode? Did you like the way we showed the clothes on and then had a little chit chat about them? Let I'll us talk. know in the comments below. And then of course, there's so many more videos of us trying on clothes and you know you love it, so click right there.